using the basic and the S curve in an astrophotography image allows you to bring out the most detail in your deep sky object. To do this, first create a new layer, then go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. Using a basic curve first, click on your deep sky object and pull it up as much or as little as you would like. Click OK when done. The red, green, and blue levels for the black reference point have gotten higher. Be sure to check on them after each curve to make sure that they have not been stretched too much. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. It is not stretched too much, so for now, we will ignore them. Create a new layer, then go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves to do a second curve. Click on your deep sky object and pull up as much or as little as you like. The red, green, and blue levels have been raised considerably. In order to adjust them back down, create a new layer, then go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. You can see here that by stretching the data, the red, green, and blue levels have also been shifted. Adjust each channel individually back down to the start of the data set. This will create a nice even background while allowing for the deep sky object to remain detailed. When you are done, click OK. Create a new layer to do an S-curve. Then go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. Click on your deep sky object and click on the black reference point. Select the higher of the two points and pull it up. This will brighten your deep sky object. Select the lower point and pull it down to create a darker background. Readjust the top point if you need to. When you are done, Click OK. The red, green, and blue levels should not have shifted much. Using a mixture of basic and S curves, you can create a nice detailed deep sky object while keeping your background nice and dark. When you are finished, select all of your layers in the background, right click, and select flatten image. This will return you to a single background layer in order to create more layers to further process your image.